This is the 2021 LEGO Ideas typewriter. This set has 2,079 pieces and will retail you for a expensive $200 in the United States. Hopefully in this review we can clear up if that steep price point is really worth it or not. The top of the box shows off all the keys as well as the actual size of the shift key which is a neat detail. And the back of the box just has more pictures of the typewriter as well as the actual functionality of the typewriter. Certainly I have even more appreciation for the set after Ron Swanson and Parks and Rec. I'm gonna type every word I know! Rectangle! America! Megaphone! Monday. And structural manual cover doesn't really show the entire set, it just kind of shows the keys, which I think is interesting. It does have a picture of the founder of Lego's grandson who owns Lego, sort of signing the paper, as well as a lot of information on normal typewriters, and even a little page about the dude who actually put in the ideas project. It also shows the three stages that the typewriter is built in, as well as the phrase QWERTY on the back, which is a really cool, like, nerdy detail. The set also comes with a second booklet that contains the letters for the typewriter in 43 different languages, which is kind of crazy. I think it's really cool that Leo did this, so it's not just limited to one race or people, it's 43 different languages, so, you know, a bunch of different people can read this, which is really neat. The letters I chose to display were obviously the English one, as well as the Dutch one, which is actually the language they speak in Denmark where Lego is produced, so I think that is kind of cool to display it. But I'm sure you're not buying it for the high quality instruction manual or for the letter in 43 different languages, you're buying it for the typewriter, and it looks ridiculously cool. Like, it looks like an actual typewriter. Like, obviously most LEGO fans know about the LEGO typewriter set, so they're going to recognize it as a LEGO typewriter. But any sort of, like, old person or person that's not really into LEGO, I don't think they're going to say, like, oh yeah, this is definitely LEGO. Like, it actually does a convincing job of looking like an actual typewriter. It's one of the most lifelike looking sets that you can get on the shelves, in my opinion. It does not look like LEGO. On the bottom of the keys, there is a small system sticker. There's only two stickers in the set. I'll get to the second one later, but it does look pretty good. There are, in fact, including the spacebar, 33 actually operational keys that you can press down to reveal a function that I will show later. And very thankfully, these are all prints. None of these are stickers, so it's really when the set got revealed back in 2021 that these would all be stickers but thankfully they're a hundred percent prints and they look really really sharp like they did a really good job with the keys like i think they look really cool building the keys however was incredibly tedious as you had to build these technic pins over and over and over again and then you had to carefully line them all up and you can't make any mistakes or basically the whole build's ruined but it's all worth it at the end because it just looks Fantastic. <laughs> the right of the keys is a small knob that turns from black to red, so you can change the color of the ink on the typewriter. Obviously, this isn't actually functional, like, it doesn't do anything but turn back and forth, but it's a really cool little detail. I'm glad they include it because it's accurate to the, an actual typewriter. And while the front of the build looks absolutely beautiful, the side just doesn't look quite as nice. It just looks a little bit bland and ugly. Oh yeah, that's right, that's what they used to call your mom back in the day. <laughs> I don't know why I made that joke, don't cancel me. Don't get me wrong, I think the way they sort of curved the edges off is really clever and neat. The edges of the set, it just looks kind of dull, there's not too much going on there. There's also these three brown Technic axles which help sort of hold in the keyboard to the actual part of the typewriter, and while it does obviously serve an important role, it just doesn't look very good at all. I do also like how that back of it looks, where they have a bunch of these little tile pieces that you stacked on top of each other, which looks neat. There's also a silver sticker on the back of the carriage that says N-G-U-O-Y-D, which stands for Never Give Up On Your Dreams, which is something that not a lot of people would actually recognize. It's a cool little Easter egg. Parts of the carriage have drum lacquered silver pieces, which are a lot more expensive for later to produce, but they look absolutely excellent. Like, they're really shiny and high quality. There's also a crank attached to the carriage that you can move up and down, which is obviously accurate to the actual typewriter. And while it doesn't actually, like, function or do anything on the LEGO model, it is still a cool detail that I'm glad LEGO included. also have what would actually print the letters onto the paper, so I don't know what the name of that is, as well as a piece of felt in between these two black knobs. And while it doesn't actually function that part of it, it's obviously very accurate to the actual typewriter. So has more of the silver pieces that make up the spokes here, and while they look really good, they get bent out of place super easily, and it's very hard to actually get them like the way they're supposed to look. Don't get me wrong, when you have them all lined up, they look really, really cool. It's just hard to kind of get them all in place and lined up properly, and they just end up looking a little bit wonky if you don't have them in place. And it's just very, very fragile and hard to kind of like 
keep track of because it's always kind of like moving and sliding and you always have to adjust it which isn't super fun. The other flaw with the set is after plenty of use the keys start to just kind of get crooked and you have to be careful and kind of adjust them otherwise they do tend to get bent out of place pretty easily. But there is in fact a way that we can feed the letter into the actual typewriter and then print it out like it's actually typing. What you have to do is turn the paper upside down and then sort of put it into the top of there and then you can use the crank to sort of feed it in and it will sort of print out the other end and so you can slowly adjust it to where you want to print the lines and I do actually like displaying it with the paper in the typewriter as I just think the typewriter looks better when it's printing out a piece of paper. I will say it starts to crumple up the papers after a little bit of time so you do have to be kind of careful about that. The best part of the entire set has to be that if you hit any of the keys the whole carriage slightly moves to the left and the little thing goes up so it looks like it's actually printing the paper which is like absolutely nuts like it's so cool to have this much detail into a Leo set and even makes like the tic tac like typing sound. Of course when you get to the end of whatever line you're typing all you have to do is push push the whole carriage back and keep going. You basically just crank the line one more time and you can keep typing. You can basically hit any key. You can go pretty fast on there and it's not going to break. It is an absolutely flawless function. The techniques they use are incredibly complicated with tons of gears and little technique pins and stuff and it's super fun to build and sort of see how the entire thing comes together because in the end it just it builds a working typewriter which is something that you do not see every day in LEGO. It works flawlessly, I haven't had any problems with it breaking down or anything, it's just the sort of thing that you have to be gentle with because of the insane mechanics on the inside of the build. But it ends up working really really well and I'm sure it's going to impress any sort of old person that owned a typewriter. Now that we've cleared up that the typewriter is an incredibly epic functional set, how does it kind of compare to another $200 LEGO set. They are, in fact, both the exact same width at only 32 studs long, but the typewriter is obviously a lot shorter than the police station. Then again, the typewriter is an incredibly complicated play function, while the police station is just a building. The typewriter also has expensive to produce silver pieces, a fair amount of them, while the police station is basically a bunch of tan small pieces. I think it remains up to the individual to decide which one is a better price. They're both $200 and I really don't think you can go wrong with either of them. Just know that one is a functioning typewriter and one is a stationary building. They're both really good, but I don't think one is a better price than the other. At the end of the day, should you buy the LEGO Ideas typewriter set, I would have to go ahead and say heck yes, go for it of course. From the exclusive printed keys to the silver chrome pieces that make up the body, to the actual function of it where it sort of like prints out a piece of paper, this set is completely unique and unlike any other LEGO set that you can get right now. $200 is a lot of money to spend on a LEGO set this size, but you have to know that a lot of it is silver chrome pieces and a lot of it also goes into the functionality of a working LEGO typewriter. So at the end of the day, even though it is a fair amount of money for a smaller than the police station model, I do think it is a good price. Now let me know your thoughts on this set in the comments below and stay tuned because I do have a video coming soon about the James Bond figure leak, which I'm super excited about. Thank you guys for watching the Cebu Productions. Signing off for now, make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with my latest content. Stay safe out there guys, peace out.